they just deserve their moments, man. JJ is one of them people. JJ ain't never been a fake nigga, though. One thing I like about John John, and it's something I always liked about John John, he ain't never been a fake nigga. Yeah. If whatever John John felt, he gonna let you know. Not like no bitch ass him. I don't know. I don't even know how he fuck with him, man, because they ain't even the same type of human. John John has always been like a stand up human. He ain't never been no nigga that was like, and it's anybody that know him, though. He ain't never, John John ain't never faked on nobody. Cause he really don't give a fuck. So it's like, kind of like me. I don't know how he fuck with a nigga like him. John John had posted one time, like, hey man, you want to fight the nigga for free, but you don't want to make no money? Everybody look crazy, look crazy. John John has always been a good person. John John versus Cash, I'm looking forward to see. I definitely want to see Cash back in motion. You know what I'm saying? Seeing Cash back in motion is always good. Cash, Cash shit talking is on a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? So. I, I I think it's mixed. What 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 Cass brings to the table is a lot of times is a lot of like he brings a lot of flair to the stage. So I'm really looking forward to JJ versus um, Cass for real. Like I'm looking forward to that way before I hear Hitman rap anything. I want to see John John. I don't want to hear. It. Hey, for y'all that don't know, Hitman destroying himself. Go look at them comments all over the place. They steady saying, "Why are you saying we, man?" Why you keep saying we the verb? Like you wanna you don't so you don't you that scared of that nigga, you don't wanna lock in with verb at all. Hey holla, I, I mean just for the record, book y'all this here. Hey holla, you are gonna have to take that fight with me because it's gonna get loud. What if the pro boxes are standing with me and saying, Hey yeah, holla, we need to see you fight? Because pro boxes see how you hit civilians. So they the pro boxes is saying, You finna you finna see it yourself. Yeah, we wanna we wanna back that verb and holla fight. The boxes do. They do. The big boxes, the champions, like the for real, the ones that don't lose. You're going to see for yourself, hey, we want to back that fight, bro. Because you have punched civilians, though. Uh, they're going to encourage you. Get in there and mix it up with her, man. This is when you got to fight for real. Like, everybody destroying his brand because the man is saying what he wants to do is a group. We, what we're going to do. It's never I. Never. It's, but it was I when you hit Kenny. But you jump by him. The niggas that have mixed it up with Holler, he got to jump him or shoot him. Boy, you finna be front page. Nick Cannon, $100,000 says I stop him in five. Nick, we got 100000 Holler takes five-round fight. I stop him before five. A hundred. No parlor tricks. No holler tricks. This is what we... What, hey, holler. The card pulling finna get so aggressive on you. You finna be so... Hey, baby mo. That nigga's a bitch. I'll walk him. That's why he don't want to fight. Out of all other niggas, he be on the gangster shit with. But he don't want to fight with her. Why? So what does he know that y'all niggas don't know? I done broke jaws in my city. I done knocked shit out in my city. I done put in work in my city. It's too risky. It's too risky because he know I got a little thump in that motherfucker. Like, but we can play the game here all we want. But that gangster that y'all talking about is afraid to put his hands on me. Look, I asked him, do you want to get in the gloves? No, I don't want you to get no money. Okay, cool. Holly, you take all the money. Let's just put on the gloves. No. Okay, hey, Holly, you want to go burn knuckle? Just turn on the camera so everybody can watch at the same time. No. Okay. Every answer pertaining to fighting with Verb, he said no. He said he threatened you fans yesterday and said, if y'all are at battle events or if y'all fuck with me, he going to do shit to y'all. He said that yesterday. He said we are going to do shit to people that like the other guy. He cannot handle everybody not being with him. He cannot handle it. So he threatened the fans, y'all. He threatened fans. He threatened the rap. The rappers are already soft. The rappers are, most of the rap niggas soft anyway. They come in here and listen anonymously because they scared of that bitch ass nigga. But the nigga that he's saying is a bitch ain't scared of him. He ain't put his hands up with me. He fooling y'all with the, the gangster shit. Why that man ain't put his hands up with me? What does he know? Why? Do anybody ever ask him why you don't want to do it? 
you know he twists this every no- narrative to make sure he ain't got to fight me? Like he said, no, he said something about my girl. Nigga, I didn't bring up sentiment until you did what? Until you brought up my sick mama who's sick like how your mama was, you bitch-ass nigga. And guess what? I'm going to keep bringing it up. And everybody know that. But you would lie and tell yourself that didn't go like that. Everybody in the comments all over the place is like, it's trash in Holland. Because they're saying, Holland, you just, we starting to see that you need everybody with you. And you're lying. That's not how that went. That nigga is a fraud, bro. He's 100% a fucking fraud. Hey, go find me Nez Battle Rap, man. Let me bring him up. Go find me Brett Nez Battle Rap, y'all. Go tag him for him. But the, why is it to the point where a nigga so hard that y'all think, but he can't put his hands up? Hey, baby Mo, that nigga's a bitch, man. He the, I got thunder in that motherfucker. He's not going to let y'all see me land no shots on him. He's not going to let nobody. He will not let nobody see him land no shots on him. Except for the people that he pick on. The people that he pick on, he want to look good. So why, can somebody here explain? Matter of fact, I'm going to bring some people up to answer, right? Can somebody here explain to me how a nigga like that who hits people that don't look and Verb says, okay, let's get it rocking. Now look, y'all, I offered him every option and no death. I said, do you want to get in the boxing gloves? That was my first response to him after he threatened me. No. Okay, Holla, we can't really go burn knuckle with you because you're going to have to shoot you because you ain't going to be able to, like, take this type of shit, right? Okay, cool. All right, Holla. Now, fuck the gloves. Let's go burn knuckle. Turn the cameras on. Turn Everybody turn on Instagram live so we won't have no discrepancy, which is more than fair. So we won't have no parlor tricks and we won't have no rumors. Turn the cameras on. What'd he say? He said no. He's used the term we for me at all times. He's brought 30 niggas up to speak and use the term we about what we gonna do to Verb. Why does it take we to do something to Verb? Because Verb got some thunder in these motherfuckers and y'all don't know that. See, when you ask people in my city, they're not gonna ever tell you Verb a bitch at all. It'll be niggas that have felt pop punching power for me that'll get up here and say, oh no, that nigga gonna punch. Y'all do remember, I'm 190 now. I was 225, 230, 242. So naturally, I'm going to be a stronger guy, bro. Naturally, a guy that's 190 at, at, at this size I'm at right now, due to being active and, and, and getting in the mix and learning more how your hands work and how the body and turning and punch, doing the right things, right? You, your, your body will change. Just like kind of like, uh, look at Shotgun Shug. Shotgun Shug is becoming very lean, the same product, because he's been training boxing. Right? I'm just really lean. So if I'm always been a stronger guy, he knows that. He know that. He know. Look, I'm not like him. I done took many one-on-ones in my city. I tell y'all, niggas done whooped me. I done whooped them. I've been dropped. I've knocked out shit, and I've been knocked out. That is my resume where I come from. Y'all don't know that, though, right? So why would this nigga be the only nigga that says, I got a kill, verb? I can't fight with him. Think about it, y'all. Byron is the one that brought up his family stuff and put it up on the net first. He blamed me for it. Because I had Byron, because I retweeted it with Byron wrote. He blamed me. It's your fault. Ask that soft-ass nigga, any of y'all that come from where we come from, y'all, why won't he put his hands up? Look at how the soft-ass rap niggas don't come around because they scared of a soft nigga. I will never fuck with these niggas, ever. Because I'm looking at you, I'm like, you a bitch, man. You letting a bitch-ass nigga tell you something? You letting a... That nigga threatened fans, man. He did it yesterday at these events. And then he said, whatever rappers he around, we gonna get him. It's always we. It's never I. It's never what's shaking. He said he got a cousin that just came home from jail, and he out riding. He said he's willing to risk his cousin going back in. He's willing to risk the life of his brothers. He's willing to risk the life of his friends because I'm telling y'all, I'm blowing this bitch y'all come around me. Somebody's going to get killed. That's just what it's going to be. But you can stop that by putting your, your hands in the gloves, taking your fade. He will not take the fade because guess what? That means you get to see who he really is. You can't see who Holly is when he got 40, 50 niggas. You can't see who he is. One-on-one, you can see who he is. And believe it or not, for all you niggas in the back, I'm going to tell y'all again. I got some power in their hands. I do. I wouldn't tell y'all that. No, that nigga can punch me. I'm punching. 
it, it, I'm telling you, look, bro. I spar with pros. I did all kind of shit, bro. I punch him, bro. That nigga ain't gonna let you see me punch him, cause I am gonna punch him. I am gonna hit him. Holler doesn't never think. He thinks that his piece that you got people fresh out of jail, uh, you know, you questioning me, bitch, nigga. We all questioning you, and ain't nobody said I was lying. What you mean fresh out of jail? Why is it this nigga so he's so unstreet? He think he's gonna score and nobody gonna score. Holla, you do anything to me. Everybody that's associated with you is getting flipped over, and you know that, bro. You know that, bro. <coughs> Why would you think it? He's got away so much with punching niggas and getting out the way. That's what he think can happen here. And threatening fans and rappers because they fuck with me. He don't want. Look, this is the thing with Holla. He cannot have nobody. He wants everybody with him, and he does not like to be challenged. He does not like to be challenged, because when you get challenged, you got to prove that. I don't mind being challenged, because I'm equipped. I'm on, I don't mind being challenged. When you challenge a nigga, you got to prove it. So what does he do when he's challenged? He screams, he gets more violent to scare y'all away. That nigga does not like to be challenged, man. Why do y'all think I'm the only nigga that make that nigga out his body like that on this planet? Because I'm the only nigga that challenge him because I know he a bitch. Y'all think he a gangster. So that's why he want to kill me because I know he a bitch and y'all think he a gangster. That soft ass nigga has punched everybody else barehand but refused to punch me on live barehand. He refused to put his hands in the gloves with me because he said, I don't want my op to get no money. I said, okay, cool. You take all the money. Just take the gloves off. He still said no. So what nigga is going to take all the money, right? He going to take all the paper and get to whoop me if I'm soft. Who turns that down? If you told me, I bird, you could take all the paper and whoop all of them. fucking loop. Matter of fact, guess what? Anybody in this chat, I can take all the paper and whoop and whoop one of y'all. Absa fucking loop. Who ain't going to do that for their family? Oh, that nigga pussy. John John and Cass is gonna happen, though, and I'm looking forward to that. K Shine is back. I I, I won't. I, when K Shine get a real fight, I'm gonna be real excited. But this is good tune-up fight for him with Carl. You know what I'm saying? They get to work the King Shine, practice a little bit on that nigga. You know what I'm saying?